This is Luke with a gamer, and I'm going to show you how to find and catch Heatran, Cresselia, and Reggie Gigas, Gigigas, something like that. Pokemon Legends brings a lot of missions, requests, and endeavors to tackle in the lands of Hisui. Or Hisui? Ah, uh, I should really learn how to pronounce this stuff before I make these videos. Anyway, as a member of the Galaxy team, you'll uncover many mysteries in this place, while capturing many different Pokemon, both classic and new. But it wouldn't be a Pokemon game if there weren't some rare legendary Pokemon hiding around. So if you follow this guide, I'll show you how to add a couple of legendaries to your team. So first of all, you'll need to have completed the story up until the point of capturing a certain legendary pair of Pokemon. Head back in and you'll unlock a series of quests about uncovering the mysteries behind the many plates you'll have already obtained throughout the game. Following these quests will lead you to face several legendary Pokemon to obtain the remaining plates. So first of all, we're going to look at Heatran. This one comes from the Plate of Fire Spit Island. You'll need to head to the Lava Dome Arena for this, which is just past where you fought the frenzied noble Arcanine earlier in the story. Once inside, you'll notice Heatran is there and he's ready to fight. Heatran is a fire and steel type Pokemon that starts at level 70 and inflicts serious damage with moves like Iron Head, Crunch, Earth Power and Magma Storm. So, to maximise your chance of capturing this Pokemon, bring ground, fighting and water type Pokemon as they're the ones that will be strongest against this. But you can't immediately launch into a battle with him and this isn't quite like the noble fights either. There are tons of mud balls scattered around the area, so grab them and just start absolutely pelting Heatran with them. Eventually, the little flame shield he's got will break and then you can send a Pokemon into battle. From there, it's just like any other Pokemon game, deal enough damage get the health low enough, and hope that Pokeball will hold him. Next up is Cresselia. For this one, just follow the quest The Plate of Moonview Arena. For this quest, you'll face Cresselia in the same place you face the Noble Electrode in the story. However, this one has a weird twist of its own. Once you enter the arena, you'll immediately be confused and this will cause all of your controls to become inverted. However, you won't be directly attacked, so you just need to try and get a hang of the controls and get close enough to break the barrier. I did this by just throwing a single Pokeball at them. This Psychic Pokemon will be pretty hard to beat though with moves like Psychic and Moonblast, as well as powerful healing moves like Lunar Blessing and Recover will make it hard to keep it at low health. I'd recommend bringing Dark, Ghost or Bug type Pokemon as they can do the most damage. And finally, it's time for good old Reggie Boy. For this one, you'll need to follow the Plate of Snowpoint Temple. Once you arrive at the temple, head to the path at the right of the stairs instead of going up them and you should find another door. To open this, you'll need the Iron Plate, which you get from catching Heatran, the Icicle Plate, which you get from defeating the Frenzied Avalug, and the Stone Plate, which you'll get for defeating Alpha Vespaqueen in the Grueling Grove during the last mission of the Researcher of Myths. After you open the door, head down the stairs, and eventually, you'll find good old Reggie Boy, but keep in mind that he will be level 70 like all the other legendaries, and comes with powerful moves such as Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, Crush Grip, and Giga Impact. So you want to bring some fighting Pokemon that can do high damage to good old Reggie. So that is your guide on how to capture some legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Legends. Thanks for watching and I hope this guide's helped you out. And please check out thegamer.com for more.